What's up, Blazioneers and Blazionettes? So I'm going to give you guys my quick review for Ready Player One, which is based off of the highly popular best-selling novel, which I have not read, by the way. And now I'm starting to wish I had read it after seeing this movie. But if you have not, if you're not aware of the premise of the movie, it's basically where it's the year 2045, and we follow the lead character, Wade Watts, and he spends most of his time in this virtual reality world called the Oasis. And a little bit after the movie starts, we discover that the creator of the Oasis has passed away and he puts out a video for all the players and they can participate in this challenge where they, where they have to find three keys that leads to a golden egg and it gives the player full control over the Oasis of uh, the, um, the Oasis and um and it and they can inherit and they do inherit the creator's fortune and that's a very video game plot and it's a video game it's basically a movie like where you know like the driving force is a video game and like a virtual reality world and so that's a pretty it's beautifully fitting and i gotta say um ah uh, i i'm i mean like after hearing, like, you know, like there are some changes that were made that, um, according to the book readers, and I don't know what those changes were, but it sounds like they accepted those changes with open arms, and that just gave me more hope before seeing this movie. And just hearing all the praise just got me even more excited, and just as excited going in as I was coming out of, you know, experiencing it myself. And I gotta say, um, the characters in this movie are very likable outside of the villain, um, uh, Sor Sorrento. Yeah, what, um, was that, is that his name? Yeah, Sorrento. And he was awesomely portrayed, by the way. And, uh, I mean, like, and the Easter eggs, oh my gosh. I mean, you have to watch this movie more than once to pick them all out because there's so, so many of them. And I'm pretty sure I did not pick them out. I mean, like, I, I mean, there is, when I say there's a lot of them, there is a lot of them. And I try to pick out as many as I could. I'm like, okay, I see that one, I see that one, and I see that one. And I have a feeling that when I see it again and again, I'm going to be like, wait, I missed that one. I missed that Easter egg. I didn't know the Easter egg was there. How did I miss that one? <laughs> you know? And um, when they say, like, when there's a review that says where it's Willy Wonka meets The Matrix, that is not an exaggeration. I mean, it really is like that. <laughs> and the only difference is, like, with The Matrix, it's, like, like um, it's, like, a much funkier real world than, than it is here. It's not quite as threatening and as decaying as in the matrix and with the matrix um like when something happens to you there you're basically a goner in real life but here however in the oasis when something happens to you you basically all your hard work goes out the window and that's basically like like a video game and like so yeah i mean like um it's so I would say that I would have more fun in, in the Oasis, you know, it's just because I'm like a, I'm, I'm a complete nerd. <laughs> and Steven, Steven Spielberg, he never fails at, you know, like making, you know, like the youngsters or, you know, even older people just look back on their youth and appreciate their childhood. And the same with kids, like where he can give the kids the, something to enjoy and help them in, embrace their childhood even more. And that's something he has done in my in my childhood. And it's like, this is like a love letter to 80s babies and gamers alike. I mean, like, I just like, wow. <laughs> this makes me appreciate that I was born in the 80s. I mean, like just the, the references that they throw in there. I mean, they throw other references like from other decades, not just in the 80s, but damn. I mean, I just enjoyed it. I mean, and you have to see this movie in IMAX 3D. It's just like not the same like otherwise. I mean, like you really do feel like you're in the Oasis. I mean, like holy shit. I mean, like it's just a crazy ride. I mean, like I, if you're, if, trust me, 
If you want to go see this movie, if you think and are thinking about seeing this movie, I would suggest you go see it. But you have to see it if you want to feel, if you want to know what it's like to be in the Oasis. IMAX 3D is as close as you're going to get. Trust me. Trust me on this. <laughs> and I mean, like, I just, I had a really fantastic time with it. And it's, and it feels like an adventure, which is something I haven't really felt in the wow in, in, the, in the movies that I've seen. I mean, a lot of movies that I have seen are awesome experiences, but, and that's not felt like an adventure, like where it's like, you gotta go an extra mile to get to, you know, to get to your goal, to achieve your mission. I mean, that's something that, I've, that has been missing in movies for a while. And, but yeah, I mean, this I feel like this movie lived up to its hype and um, I would gladly see it again. And, I mean, like, it's really, really a fun ride. I mean, there's no other way to put it. And if I had to pick out my favorite character in the movie, all the movie, all the characters I love, but I have to pick um, H. I mean, every time H is on screen, I enjoy every single second that character is there. You know, just, you know, just basically lighting up the screen. <laughs> so with that all being said, Ready Player One gets four and a half chair spins out of five. So here we go. One, two, three, four and a half chair spins. So if you enjoyed my review for Ready Player One, make sure you thumb up the video, click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for watching and get your butt on over there. Easter weekend, go check it out. I'm sure your family will enjoy it. It's a fun ride, trust me. And see it in IMAX 3D, come on. I'm telling you, it won't be the same otherwise. I mean, like, just do it. Just listen to me. Just do it, okay? <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>